Hello there, my name is Ray Albert and I'm with Milford Connecticut Marketing and today I want to talk about the best free SEO tools around. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I'm prejudiced because it's my SEO tools. They're my tools. So, you know, I'm a little bit, you know, partial to them and uh, they're free. Okay, so I'm offering this to people that just want to do SEO, want to do some research and they don't have free tools to do it. So let's check them out. Okay. Okay, so this is the tool here. All you have to do is go to milfordctmarketing.com backslash SEO tools. Or if you're on my website, all you have to do is click on this button and go to the SEO tools, okay? But when you get here, uh, you're gonna wanna log in first. So you just click this button to log in. Um, and I'm already uh, signed up for this, so um, all you have to do is just click here to log in, okay? I'm not going to use your information for anything. I'm not going to market, market to you or anything, so don't worry about that. Um, you just need that just so you can get access to these tools, okay? And so if you click on tools, you can see the array of tools, okay? Let's start with the first tool. Now, the first tool here is called Google SERP. And if you click on this Google SERP, uh, you're going to want to enter a website to get started. So what this is going to do is tell you where you are in the search engines for your website. So if you click on uh, Milford Connecticut Marketing, this is my website right here, and you click on Submit, um, it's going to ask you to now enter a keyword. So what keyword uh, do you want to rank for on your website? So let me just put in here, uh, marketing agency and let's see what happens so we go to test and so this is telling me that right now I appear in the first I do not appear in the first 98 results 98 so that means that I'm not showing on the first page I'm not showing on the first you know 98 results and as, as you can see here it goes all the way down so this would be like the fifth page of Google this would be like the sixth page of Google this is like the seventh page of Google so you know I'm all the way down there for that keyword but now if I put in uh, see marketing agency um, let me put Milford and see where I am for this keyword So now it's telling me I'm in number two position for this keyword. So here's my website right here for that keyword, Milford Marketing Agency. Okay, so this is how you can tell where you're sitting in the SERPs for your keywords that you want to rank for. Okay, so now why is this important? Well, this is important because a lot of people think that uh, if they hire an SEO agency, uh, they're going to rank for you know every keyword under the sun which isn't true. You have to choose the keywords that you want to rank for. My suggestion is, is choosing keywords that are actually going to bring you visitors uh, and qualified visitors to your website. So if somebody's looking for this marketing uh, in Milford, Connecticut, if they're looking for a marketing agency in Milford, Connecticut, they're going to find my website and hopefully they'll click on it, right? So that's the important part about this tool okay so that was the first tool in my uh, arsenal of tools as you see let's go check out another tool so now I'm going to go back to the tools here and um, now this Bing SERP is going to be the same thing as Google SERP okay so this is just going to show you where you are in Bing uh, top search queries so if I click on this tool and I select a region which is the United States and I click on test it's going to tell me the keywords that um, I'm ranking for so I'm ranking uh, 28 for marketing agencies in Connecticut uh, 45 for Connecticut advertising agencies Connecticut marketing agency so you can see you can and then you can also see the volume of the uh, search results and the difficulty in ranking for those keywords okay um, and you can see I've gotten clicks on some of these that are actually hard to rank for and the ones that are money keywords have a CPC that means people are paying for these 
for this keyword Connecticut Marketing Agency or CT Marketing Agency and um, I got a, a click that would have cost me ten dollars but I got it for free because I showed up in the search results so now again the important thing about this tool is that it's going to show you the keywords that are money keywords that you can target uh, maybe you're in the 42nd position for a keyword in Google which means you're on the fifth page or fourth page of Google and you want to push yourself up to page number one well the trick to doing that is creating more content or looking at the competition and seeing what their content is like adjusting your content to be better than their content and then send backlinks to your content this is how you rank for keywords on the search engines okay so let's check out another tool so I'm gonna go back up here to my tools and let's go to index pages So this tool is going to tell you that MilfordCTMarketing.com has 139 indexed pages by Google and 89 indexed pages by Bing. So that's what this tool does for you. So it's going to tell you how many pages. So now if you're researching the competition and uh, say you're a roofing company in Connecticut and you have a roofing company in Waterford, Connecticut, or Waterbury, Connecticut, whatever town in Connecticut, and you want to see what your competition is doing for keywords or what their website is, right? You know, how many pages do they have indexed? You can get a, a glance on their website and how it compares to yours as far as index pages go, because the amount of pages does matter. Uh, this is potential keywords that they could be ranking for especially if they have backlinks going to those pages so you want to check on your competition and it's very important to know the number of pages that they have indexed in Google so that if you want to try to compete with them you have to be similar or better than the competition let's check out another tool so again we're going to go to the tools here so then if you want to check out if you have a robots txt file or a sitemap um, you can submit a pet you can submit sitemaps you can check your domain authority let's do this one let's check domain authority okay so this tool right here is telling me that my domain authority is 15 out of 100 uh, so I have a domain authority of 15 so why is it important to know what your domain authority is because as you see for the keywords there some of the domain authorities or the, or the difficulty for ranking for those keywords depends on the uh, domain authority so if it's difficulty of say uh, 15 that means you need a domain authority of 15 to rank for that keyword or higher so if you see a keyword that has a difficulty of 52 you need a domain authority of at least around 52 to rank for that keyword so that's why that is important let's check out another tool so we're going to go back to the tools and let's go to, now this is going to check your backlinks your poor backlinks uh, the top refers which is important because uh, these this is where it's going to drive your domain authority um, I like to go down here now see keyword research so if you click on this you're going to be able to research keywords so if I wanted to research the keyword marketing agency and hit submit you're gonna see that marketing agency gets a volume of 40,000 searches a month and the CPC is $14 which means that this is an important keyword to try to rank for anything with a CPC means that people are paying for these keywords okay and these are the volumes of the keywords so if you want to rank for these keywords like I said before you would check out the competition you would see what the domain authority was uh, that you needed to to rank for this keyword and uh, make a decision whether you want to write the content to try to rank for this keyword so then you're probably asking me well how do I raise my domain authority uh, so I can rank for some of these keywords well to rank to raise your domain authority 
Again, it's all about content backlinks, okay? You want to make sure, number one, that your site hierarchy, which is the link flow in your website, um, is good. So say your homepage is linking to relevant content within your website, different pages that you talk about. Make sure the, the homepage is linking to those pages or the pages are also linking back to the home page. So you have a flow of link juice and Google can actually crawl your whole website. If you don't have a link from your home page or a relevant page going to a piece of content, Google's not gonna be able to find that content within your website. So it's not gonna be able to index it in the search results. So this is why this is important. So I showed you how to get to these free SEO tools. All you got to do is go to MilfordConnecticutMarketing.com or MilfordCTMarketing.com. I keep saying Milford, Connecticut Marketing, but it's MilfordCTMarketing.com and just backslash SEO hyphen tools. All right. Or just go to the website and just click on SEO tools. That's all. So the, these are just some of the tools in my tool arsenal that you can use totally for free. So I hope to see you there. I hope you use the tools and uh, stop paying for some of them tools you don't need to pay for, okay? This is Ray Albert with Milford Connecticut Marketing. I'll see you in another video.